calculating measures of central tendency for a data set manually. A la schmuck. <laughs> what a way to go. All right, well, say you've got a bunch of data and you want to make sense of it all. Not a bad way to handle data. Well, chances are you've got a bunch of numbers ranging from some high point to some low point, And you want to know what those numbers mean. Get it? What's the best way to get a handle on them? Well, you have a couple of options. First, you can take the mean or average of those numbers. Yeah. Second way is find the median, middle set. Well, while the first method will give you a precise average by taking every piece of data into account, it can be a bit skewed if there were a couple of outliers, numbers that were way higher or lower than all the rest. In that case, you may be better off going with the median, which simply takes the middle number of data, eliminates the highest and lowest figures on either side of it, like that, bye guys, bye guys. And depending on what you're looking for, you may also be interested in finding the mode, which is just the number that appears most often. Which is why we always order our apple pie a la mode. Isn't that nice? What did the buffalo say to his son as he left for school? Bye, son. Okay, bad joke. But if you survived it, how about clicking the subscribe button below? And if you're looking for more jokes from yours truly, why not check out our website at www.schmoop.com. And if you want to get updates on what's new, well, check us out on Facebook and Twitter, too. Please check our Facebook and Twitter pages, please.